what is up YouTube welcome to the in-laws house <laughs> we are recording from a remote location to get this product opened up so I can get something with you guys today so we can hang out a little bit so we got this little little opening station here set up that we can open up some cards on and here we go just a little something something for you guys to look at and to maybe uh, keep the cards clean so where is the pokey sword I don't have it on me just gonna go ahead and try to bite this thing open. Thank you everyone for stopping by. If you guys are new here and have not yet done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button. My name is Nick at Nick, and over at this channel here at the Odd Oddish, we do a ton of awesome openings, whether it's Pokemon, sports, Yu-Gi-Oh! I even got some magic to throw down on, we can do that. Whatever it may be, all things cool. We are about that over here. So I'd love to have you guys. I'd love to follow you on your journey, and I'd love for you. To follow me on mine. All right, here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs, bro. There we go. Eight packs. I like this Heritage product. It's a lot of fun. Um, I opened up a lot of the Series 1. I like all the different misprints and stuff like that that they have in the cards that you can get. You can get some cool on-card autos. I'm not exactly sure uh, who I'm all looking for, so let me know if I missed something in the comments down below. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Buster Posey. Mark Mathias, Nick Senzel, Matthew Boyd. Yeah, this product, dude, it has a lot of, so many different crazy variations you can get. It can be simply that the stars are a different color or the writing's a different color or the, uh, there's a misprint on the card somewhere. So these cards are fun because you can go after, after the fact and try to learn about some of the misprints and stuff like that and see if any of your cards have a, a deeper level of rarity or anything like that. So a lot of fun. All right, pack number two. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving and Black Friday week and all that fun stuff. That's why we're over at the, the in-laws house right now for our second Thanksgiving. All right, we got Willie Adams, Milwaukee Brewers, my, my team. Tony Gonsolin, Tops All-Star Rookie. Gonna go pile for like people that we know our rookies right off the bat. Gavin Lux. Tommy Kali, John Oviato, Kyle Garlic, <laughs> Garlic, is that real? Garlic, it is Garlic, bro. I like that. I like that guy. Nick Mateson, Matone. Oh, that's a rookie. That's a rookie. All right, next pack. Yeah, these cars, they just, they just have such a cool feel to them. They just feel, you know, it feels like you're really... Ripping into some old school wax here. Who got another rookie? Seth Romero. There we go. Put that one aside. Jordan Montgomery. Louis Patino rookie. Okay, okay. Uh, Chad Pinder. I see on the box they have. Uh, who is it? Francisco Lindon. Lindon. Andreas Jimenez. We got Austin Barnes. Tyler Wade. Andrew Heaney. Carlos Martinez, and yeah, that's it for that stack right there. All right. Man, these cards just feel so sturdy and so, just so nice. I just, man, it's hard to explain. If you guys open, this, open some, you know what I mean. I just love this old school appeal, the old school look. Oh, I see we got some kind of color down there. What can it be? We got a 1972 World Series Vita Blue, Vita Blue, Oakland Athletics closeouts game one. All right, so on the back it said 1972, a closer was an afterthought. So fans were shocked to see Oakland's best arm stroll out of the sixth inning in a relief game, relief in game one of the World Series. Vita was was the defending American League CI Young Award, and the American League MVP he allowed one hit in his two point. One innings, I never lost my pride, Vita said. All right, there's a fancy card. Shane McClahan, rookie. Jonathan Lasagna. <laughs> David Bowie. <laughs> Louis Urias. Is he like kneeling on the ground like a Buddhist monk? Okay. That's Brewer, so respect, respect. All right, so we're going into pack number four. All right, Jackie Bradley Jr., also a brewer. You know, a lot of cool brewer's cards. 
Nick Gordon, rookie. Yu Chang, George Springer, Louis Castillo, Corey Dickerson, David Price, Tyler Widener, rookie. All right. Or, hey, we're getting some rookies. Do we get any, any any kind of parallel or anything like that out of here? What does it say that, that we get in here? Do we get any promises? Look for exclusive tops Venezuela stamps. Okay. I'm looking. That's good. Ryan McKenna. Jose Iglesias. Joe Musgrove. Joe, he must groove. Dane Dunning. Dang Dunn. Consider that Dunn, dang, dang, Dunn. Joe, Joe Romero. Xander Bogarts. Brendan Rogers. James McCann. Stefan Duggar. Alright, we only have two packs left, as you can see, ladies and gents. Unless I, like, just scrolled over some kind of hit and I didn't even know it, which is possible, which is possible, guys. I'm trying to get my sport game up. Brent Rooker, looking forward to watching the Packer game today, potentially with the, the father-in-law. That would be cool. Manny Machado, bring it back to when I used to live here back in the day. James Capriellen in my in-law's basement. <laughs> Dean Kramer, rookie. George Lopez. Nolan Arenado. Yolmar Sanchez. Jacques Peterson. All right, so we're down to one pack. Ooh, no, wrong pile, wrong pile, bro. One pack. Come on, man. Don't do me like this. I'm over here talking this product up. I didn't even get my... I didn't even get my... Venezuela Stamps card, darn it. Unless that was that weird-looking card that we pulled before. Which is possible. All right, Ozzy Albies. Nivaldo Rodriguez, rookie. Boom. Patrick Wago, rookie. Brewers, baby. Let's go. There we go. There we go. All right. So now and then, July 14, 2020, 14K opening day. Opening day came late in 2020, but Shane made Shane made sure that made sure the wait until July 24th was worth it for the Cleveland fans. He whiffed 14 Royals in just six innings. That was the most strikeouts ever in opening day without allowing a run. Shane was an MVP All-Star in 2019. On this day, 1972, baseball awaited the Midsummer Classics. The next night, T Tug McGraw fanned four batters in the two frames in a 4-3 walk over win over the National League. <gasps> a nice and easily one breath. Raphael Marfield Marchand, rookie. Michael Lorenzen. Trevor Lorange, rookie. Daniel Bard and Eric Fed. You know what? Now I'm fed up of this product. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so let's see what we got here for our. Uh, I think I have this blaster was only twenty bucks. So here's a bunch of our rookies: Trevor, Trevor, Lar Trevor Larnich, Raphael Marchand, 14K opening day, Patrick Weigel, Nivaldo Rodriguez, Dean Kramer, James Capriellen, Brent Rooker, JoJo Romero, Dane Dunning. Ty Taylor Widener, Nick Gordon, Shane McClanahan, and then Vita Blue Oakland Athletics pulls out one game. That's a cool picture. I wonder if that's the ca card they're talking about. Andres Jimenez, Luis Patino, Seth Romero, Tyler Zuber, Nick Matone, and Tony Gonsolin. So let me know, guys, if I have anything crazy that I didn't recognize or else this is just going to go into my, uh, my rookie stacks that I keep from the sports products I open for... Uh, yeah, for future investment purposes. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to us. Sincerely appreciate it. This has been your boy, Nick and Nick. Thank you so much. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and the opening. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Just wanted to open something with you guys so I don't miss a day. Because I'm trying to just upload for you guys every single day and have an opportunity to hang out. So thanks again, guys. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 1K any day. You know what I say. And I'd, I'd sincerely appreciate it, guys. It means a lot to a channel of my size. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Peace.